right you guys got another fix it video here for you so you're trying to install windows 10 and you can see here we've got drive one unallocated space and when we click next we get we can install windows in the location you choose and you get the error code 0x80324 so that's the error code you get even if you click new and apply and you create a new partition and you try to go next here on that partition you get the same error code it's a very simple and easy to fix to do and let me show you how to do it you will need to get into uh, the bios so when you restart your pc you're probably going to have to push either uh, delete key or f f2 or something like that to get into your bios so let's restart the pc you can see here at the bottom of the screen it says on my case push delete key or f2 i'm in here i'm going to go to the advanced mode and we want to go to the boot area here so click on boot once you're inside the boot area you want to go over to where it says csm click on this here and when you're looking here you you will see launch csm is enabled so we're going to disable uh, that csm here click ok you'll get a little notice up here click ok here that's now been disabled I'm going to click back and we're also going to see here we've got secure boot now secure boot has been disabled so i'm going to re-enable this and also it says other type for operating system i'm going to put windows uefi mode here i'm going to go to the key section here and install default secure boot keys and click yes and this is going to be okay that's done and now we'll set up for uefi uh, boot mode instead of uh, the master boot record legacy mode uh, with no secure boot here so we're going to change this all back as we've done here now the reason why you're getting that error code is because you are trying to uh, use mbr on a gpt setup and you need to change it and that's how you can change it here so you can see we have got our boot options here i'm just going to make sure that our on our main section here i'm going to go down to easy mode here and you'll see I've got my USB drive with Windows 10 on it. I'm going to make that boot priority number one. Click F10 and we can now save this and say yes. This will reboot the system. As you see here, it's now starting to reboot. And hopefully we should get back up to where we want to install Windows 10 again. And I'll show you that it should go right through and work this time. Sorry about the picture quality. I was recording the monitor screen here, but we're just going through the installation process here. Click install now, and you'll get this to start the setting for a Windows 10 installation. I'm going to say I don't have a key. You can choose whatever version of Windows you're trying to install here. In my case, it's Windows 10 Pro, and we're going to click next. And once we get back to that location where we was before, I'm going to agree to their terms and conditions. Click next here, go custom install. And now we are back to where we was. You can see that unallocated space here. And if I click next here, it will work. Also, I can click new and it will create a partition for me. Once you click next, you should now see the installing Windows box popping up and copying Windows files to that hard drive and install in Windows 10. It's that simple. So a very quick and easy fix for that error code there, which can be quite confusing to some people, but it's really simple and easy to resolve. So I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Sorry about the video quality, but at least you can get the idea of how to resolve that issue. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, Hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.